Founders of startup companies often find themselves in multiple roles with respect to the management of their companies. It's important to grasp the distinctions between different roles, such as officers and directors. A company's board of directors is elected by its shareholders, and the board is ultimately responsible for the governance of the business. The board, in turn, appoints the officers, who oversee the day-to-day -day operations. Directors and officers have certain fiduciary duties to the company, the two main such duties being the duty of care and the duty of loyalty. Breaching these duties can result in personal liability, despite the layer of protection that is afforded by corporate entities. The composition of the board typically starts small, consisting of just the founders, but with outside investment often comes an investor representative, and at that point it may be smart to also bring in an independent board member. Having a range of directors bring to the table a variety of skill sets and experience. A diverse board offers broad professional networking, a built-in support system, and a sounding board for new strategies and innovations. In the early stages of a new venture, you should consider seeking out a board of advisors, which is much less formal than a board of directors, in that they have no decision-making authority or fiduciary duties. There are many potential advisors who enjoy mentoring new entrepreneurs and can sometimes be recruited for a small amount of equity or other compensation. A board of advisors will help provide guidance and expertise regarding accounting and tax advice, and obtaining a board of advisors who have significant experience can prove to be extremely valuable as you navigate through the many challenges and pitfalls of starting a new venture.